Hello. Oh, oh, I just broke me bloody brush. Hello everyone, how are you? What has been going on? Today I have a Tanika Talks video. So just a little chit chat, get ready with me if you're new here. I feel like I've got quite a bit to catch you up on today and I'm just going to be playing with some makeup that I've been dipping into recently. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's let's just go. Hey, let's let's go. I'm going to start out with the Stila One Step Correct Primer. I recently used up a L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness and before I crack open another one because if you didn't know that is my absolute favorite anti redness primer. So before I crack open another one, I thought I should actually get through some others that I have in my collection. So this one is nice. It has a nice lightweight texture. It does counteract that redness quite well, but still just not as good as the L'Oreal one. I haven't filmed in a while, so I feel like, like, am I talking too quiet? Do I need to yell more? Like, I just for foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match. This is almost empty, so I've got the lid off and I'm just pouring it out onto a palette, trying to use the last of it. Okay, oh my goodness. So I feel like life has just been a bit hectic lately. Where do I start? <laughs> no, it's been pretty good. Like all this Corona stuff is really, well in Queensland, it was starting to like, you know, come back down, things were getting back to normal. And then recently there was some new outbreaks. Um, these two girls flew up from Melbourne and kind of just went everywhere and spread it around a bit. So there are a few more cases popping up in Queensland, but we're still doing all right. Victoria is now in lockdown and I'm pretty sure there are a few parts of Sydney that are in quite a lockdown stage. So just before Sydney went into this lockdown, Clinton had to go down there for work for an entire week. So yeah, he has been going away for work a little bit, which I don't mind, like he goes away for a few nights, but yeah, he went to Sydney for an entire week and then today he's just gone away again for another week to Rockhampton, which is in Queensland. So he's still in the state. But anyway, I'm sure you don't care about Clinton's work schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so I feel like him going away is what I was saying. It kind of throws me out a bit of my schedule. Like, I don't know. I just don't eat properly. I don't stick to any schedule, which if you can't tell, I just feel like I'm all over the place at the moment. I just haven't been sticking to any kind of routine. My life just feels like it's a bit like in shambles and I'm still working on like getting it back together. I woke up this morning with like eight whiteheads all around my nose and my mouth. It was freaking disgusting. Like I don't usually wake up with that many whiteheads. So I am going to go in with a bit of this e.l.f. concealer and just touch up those areas. So anyway, then Clinton got back from work in Sydney and then he had to get his wisdom teeth out. So that knocked him out for a week. The poor thing, so he went under. He actually recovered pretty well. When I got my wisdom teeth out, it was the most painful experience ever. I ended up doing it in the chair and got all four out at once, which like it wasn't that bad, but oh my God, the recovery, what, <laughs> what is that about? So yeah, I've just been taking extra care of him lately while he recovers from that. And over the last maybe two weeks, we've really kicked our butts into gear into looking for some land and to build a house. So we had planned to do this after the wedding, but considering that the wedding has been postponed until next year, we thought we may as well just flip it around and get this house stuff going. And what really pushed us to do this is that the government is giving out $25,000 to first home builders. So pretty good opportunity to take. I don't think the rules are really set in place with that yet. Like no one really knows what's happening as far as I'm aware, but oh my goodness, this has been the biggest learning curve. Like there's just so much involved that I didn't realize, which I suppose is what happens with every like new venture you take. 
but oh my goodness so where we live we actually have a lot of options on land but they're all pretty tiny <laughs> like there's no acreage properties which is fine we have a plan for the future to build out on a different property but for the time being it's best to build on a smaller property and then this will be an investment for the future what is this on my neck I'm just getting red all of a sudden. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I have just been obsessed with this. Cannot put it down. And I'm using my Sigma F74 Air Domed Buffer Brush. <laughs> These brushes have been my new favorite. Wait till I tell you about the blush brush. <laughs> so anyway, we had a look around at quite a few different land options, compared price and all that jazz, price and size. Oh, this shit is expensive, man. <laughs> like, what the hell? So anyway, we decided on some property. We went and picked up the contract the other day and I just want to take it to a solicitor this week. So that's kind of the annoying thing about Clinton going away. He can't come with me and I would rather him there so he can hear everything as well, but that's okay. I'm gonna try and get in with the solicitor this week and get them to just explain the entire contract to me because it is like this thick of paperwork. <laughs> and I just look at it and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? So yeah, we run back and forth between all these land options, picked that one, um, went and talked to a few builders and have chosen our builder as well. And we are under our budget. So we didn't want to go too crazy we set a budget at 480,000 which once you start looking it's not a lot like damn but we managed to find a decent sized property and a beautiful home with an amazing builder so very excited to start that we might go over by maybe five or ten grand just depending on a few extra costs like for example the property we are looking at backs onto a road. If your property backs onto a road, there's this thing called acoustic requirements. And it means you have to like double glaze your windows and put extra insulation in your walls to stop the noise. Like, what the hell? I haven't even got a quote on that yet. So I'm a bit nervous to see how much that's gonna cost, but like, that's something I wouldn't even think you had to do, but what do you know? Okay, so I'm just going to rave about this brush for a hot minute, okay? This is the Sigma F53 Air Contour and Blush Brush. So it's one of the newer releases from Sigma and oh my God, this has changed my liquid blush game. So if you watch my videos often, you would know I have been dipping into a few more liquid and cream blushes and I was using this brush here from Kmart. It's just a domed buffing brush. The bristles are quite dense. It does a great job at blending out cream brushes, but liquid blushes, I found it could sometimes be a little bit patchy and I didn't really think it was the brush. I thought it was the product, but then I tried those blushes with this brush and game changer, game changer. So what I think it is, is that this brush, because it is a duo fiber, the bristles up the top are a lot more separated. They're not as dense as this brush here. So it just blends the product out beautifully. Like, oh my God, I just, I cannot put this brush down. It is so bloody good. So I'm going to go in with my Savvy Cheek Duo. Up the top here, we have a highlighter. And then on the bottom, there is a blush. So this is in the shade Rose and Shine. Now this blush is quite pigmented, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. So anyway, we met with a few builders just in the display villages and I was just shocked to find out that the price that they say the house is includes nothing. You have to add on these packages, like a luxury package to like get simple things like a fan in every bedroom and you know what I mean? Like none of these houses come with driveways, letterboxes, clothesline, like you've got to do all the landscaping yourself, which is just something I'm, I just don't want to do. But it's not even the outside, like the inside of the house. I was just shocked to hear the limited amount you actually get with that price. And like, of course you're going to add on the package. 
because you know you want a light switch <laughs> that's what it felt like anyway so the builders that we end up choosing includes absolutely everything like some really beautiful finishes as well like a double shower double basins floor to ceiling tiles in the bathrooms i've got a fan in every bedroom <laughs> Which like seems so simple, is it that much to ask? For under my eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of this L'Oreal Infallible Loose Powder on a tiny little brush and just lightly set my under eyes. And I've also just put a little bit of powder on my forehead and my chin, but that is all I'm going to do for powder. For brows, I've actually been using this Patrick Tarr Clear Shaping Wax. Now, as you know, I don't usually buy high-end things. And to be honest, I probably didn't need to purchase a high-end soap because that's pretty much what it is. But I did, so we're here now. What are we going to do about it? I brush them up, which, you know, that looks good. And then I get the back of my brush and just lightly press them down. And then because I recently got my brows tinted, I'm not going to go in with a pencil because I find it's just a bit too much lately so I'm using my Emco brow pen and I'm just going to draw a few little strokes to fill in the gaps so yeah that is what has been taking up a lot of my time recently it's just it's just a lot like I said before it's so new to us we just don't know where to start where to go there's just a lot of back and forth like you go to a builder and they're like well do you have your land it's like oh I've got some options then you go to get land and like, well, do you have a builder? Oh no, I'm still like weighing everything up. So we're pretty happy with our decisions. Hopefully it all goes ahead smoothly. And then also like in between the bank and oh, it's just a lot. Being an adult, this is hard. Oh my God, I have the most embarrassing story to tell you. So I wrote some notes to talk about in this video and I've got this thing that says, hug anyway. I'm like, what hug? Like, did I make a spelling mistake? It just come back to me. All the embarrassing feels just come back to me. <laughs> Let me finish this brow. <laughs> okay, I've just done my brows. They are looking very full and dark and fluffy, but that is okay. That's the vibe we're going for today. For the eyes, I'm going to be dipping into this BYS Fire Palette. Lots of really, really beautiful warm tones. <gasps> Oh my god, okay, I might, mm, hmm, what should I do? Okay, so where do I start with this embarrassing story? Oh my god. <laughs> I have a new makeup artist for the wedding. Woohoo. I don't know if, did I tell you guys that? When I rescheduled all the wedding, um, the makeup artist wouldn't reschedule me in. I can't remember if I told you that or not. But anyway, I have like 11 or 12 vendors and every vendor was like, yep, yeah, not a problem, we'll change the date. But the makeup artist was like, uh, no, I don't open my books that far in advance. I was like, um, I'm not a new booking. I've, I've had this booked with you for about 10 months now. I said, I understand you don't open your um, books to new clients, but I've got an entire bridal party booked in with you. So this was in April and we moved the wedding to June, 2021. So she said in August, 2020, which is 10 months out from the new date, if you haven't found anyone else by then, contact us and we will requote you. And I just said, <laughs> what? So anyway, I don't want to badmouth her too much, but I wasn't happy with that. So I took my deposit back and I said, see you later. There is a lot more to the story, but I just, you know, I don't want to go there. So anyway, I have a new makeup artist, which I'm really excited about. I went and had my trial the other day. A few things we need to change, but I think, I think it's going to be good. So we were finished the trial. And she was taking some photos. She was like, all right, like, let's get some beautiful photos to Instagram. And I was like, hell yeah. And then, so it was like the end, like we were pretty much done. And so she's snapping photos and then she puts her arms out. And I thought she was going in for a hug because we were pretty much done. So I put my arms out 
to go hug her. But it turns out she was just putting her arms out to zhuzh my hair for the photo. But by the time she had touched my hair, I was already hugging her. <laughs> I'd already had my arms up on her shoulders. And then she was kind of like, what? And I was like, what? And then she's like, oh, like, if you want to hug. And I was like, oh, no, like, I thought we were done. And so we ended up hugging. Uh, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Like she played it off really cool, like thank god she's so 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 nice and just laughed it off and I was like oh my god <laughs> I was so embarrassed, I was so embarrassed but that is okay, we will just not speak of that again <laughs> Literally I had erased it from my memory reading that note, hug MUA, I was like what the F am I talking about? <laughs> Funny how that all come rushing back to me. But besides the uncomfortable hug, <laughs> she is the kindest, most sweetest person. She's really, really bubbly. So I just know she's going to fit in so well with the rest of my bridal party on the day. <laughs> I'm so excited. So now that I have the makeup artist organized, the only things I really need to do for the wedding will be like two months before the new date, like back to where I was which is just a lot of nitty gritty scheduling and organizing. So I can pretty much push the wedding to the side for the moment and now focus on the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. So did anyone get their hands on Desi's sunglasses release? How bloody beautiful are they? I didn't get any, I wanted some, but the release time was like two or 3 AM here in Australia. And <laughs> look, like I wanted them, but am I gonna get up at that time? No. I usually get up at like, okay. I set my alarm for five to 5.15 for work. I get up at 5.45 to six. So that morning I actually got up on time at about five o'clock and I went onto the website. I was thinking there might still be a few left. <laughs> Silly me, everything was sold out. So unfortunately I didn't get my hands on anything, but I definitely want to. So I am excited for the restock. I want to get Charge It. I'm thinking of the black pair in those and the first, like the big frame, not the Harper ones, the other ones. I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember the names of them, but oh my goodness, I am so excited for her to be releasing this brand. And I definitely want to support her. I love sunglasses too. So like that just works out well. And what about um, Raw Beauty Christie's release with Purr? Did anyone pick up that eyeshadow palette? I really like the idea behind that palette, having the two separate sides, one neutral, one colorful. I think that was really cool. I didn't really have an interest in picking it up though. I just feel as though I've got more than enough eyeshadow palettes. I didn't really need it, but it was really nice. And I think she did a great job there. Another influencers release that has caught my attention was Patrick Starr with his makeup line. Even though at first he just released, what is it? The makeup removing spray and wipes. I just don't know why he released makeup wipes. Why couldn't it have been a reusable makeup cloth, especially if he's selling it with the spray as well? You know, like I don't do everything perfectly to help the environment, but I try and do a few little things. And I just feel like as such a big influencer as him, the makeup wipes were unnecessary. You know, it's like Kylie Skin, she released makeup wipes too. It's like, really? But anyway, I am pretty excited to see what else he comes out with. He puts so much hard work into all of, just like everything that he does. And I love seeing the content he comes up with. So I think that his brand is going to be pretty successful. Okay, I'm just going to go in with some mascara. So just before Clinton went to Sydney, so this would have been... I know probably a month or three, three weeks to a month ago now, we finally got to go away for our 12 year anniversary. So we had planned to go away, but then I got sick and I had to get a COVID test. So I wasn't allowed to go anywhere. So we had to postpone our anniversary plans, which was really annoying. I just felt like great. 
another thing to postpone. But anyway, Clinton surprised me and we went up to this beautiful place just past Gympie. It's called Hangaroo. Hangaroo, I'm pretty sure. And it's like a camping ground, but they have a few glamping cabins set up and oh, oh, oh my gosh, it was completely my style. So Clinton and I go camping every now and then, you know, I enjoy it, but it can be a bit of hard work sometimes. So this glamping cabin had like a full double bed, cute little lamps. I'll insert a photo um, on the screen of what it looked like. A nice little deck and then you had a fire pit where you could cook your dinner on so that night we cooked sausages potatoes and some vegetables had a little fire had some snacks around the fire and then to the side it's got like an outdoor shower with a little basin on like this cute little deck oh my goodness it was so beautiful such a nice surprise and it was just so nice to get away together, even just for one night. The grounds were absolutely amazing as well, like so beautifully looked after. So that afternoon, they actually had some live music going on. They have a food truck there. And so in the morning, we went up to the food truck and got some breakfast and they have a coffee van as well. Oh, it was just so nice. And I'll definitely be going back there because it was just the perfect getaway. Like you don't have to do too much like when you're camping, but you still get that camping vibe. I freaking loved it. And then lastly for lips, I'm going to go in with the Astralis Girl Boss High Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Lovebird. All right, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and catching up. Make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what has been going on in your life lately because I would love to have a little chat. I will list all the makeup I use down below in the description box for you, as well as some of my other Tanika Talks videos if you wanna go binge. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. You can also come check out my Instagram and TikTok, which I will have linked in the description box below. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.